Jeffrey, because everybody loves the Jeffrey. <laughs> The gates have finally opened! Woo! Yeah! We're at Carolina Rebellion, as you know, here at the Metro Line Expo. And if you haven't already gotten your ass down here, um, you need to. It's going to take a bit. This place is jammed right now. I know, when you scream that out loud, people in the back of the line are like, who cares? We're not moving yet. There's plenty to see along the way, by the way, as they're lined up for about two miles outside the venue here. Chicks in bikinis sitting on tops of cars, cooking out some food. Nice, good time. And we are joined by our friends from 99X. Is it Newburn? Is that the official place? Yeah, Newburn, North Carolina. And we've got Mick and we've got Blando hanging out with us. How many people did you guys bring with you? Uh, we, well, we four of us here. We've got our PD and her boyfriend came. Uh, one of our sales girls came. Wait a second, she got a whole like, family and stuff like <laughs> that. Much, man, it's crazy. It's it's like a it's a family affair. I mean, we came five hours, so you know we packed big, brought everybody, and it's you know it's a huge show. It's first time you know obviously anything like this has been anywhere near us. So. Right. Did you, did you guys drive in last night? Oh yeah. Yeah. Did you sleep in the van. Part of the way here. Oh. He was wow. he was he was driving. He swept the whole way. I was following him. <laughs> well, actually, our, we have a bunch of listeners that drove all the way out here as well. We got a cop at a gas station earlier, which it was, it was creepy, kind of like a creepy, creepy Jeffrey, creepy Jeffrey over here. Yeah. But cool. I mean, our, one of our listeners ran up to the van. Are you mad? And just freaked out, and we got accosted. And, and it's been it's fun though to have that that much of a loyal team, that's loyal listenership, to drive all the way out here five hours for this. This is huge, man. Right. We, huge. We've already talked to a couple of girls who drove down from Delaware. So you guys don't win the prize. No. <laughs> Is it a prize? There won't be anything given out. But, well, uh, he failed to mention the best part of that story was when they went to take a picture of him, they turned so I wasn't in it. Because I was waving in the background. They're like, no, no, we don't want you. Just there. Well, that hurts. That hurts. Which is a, that's that's the rare thing because he's the teddy bear of the station. We go out and we we, we broadcast live and, and they avoid me like I, I have a STD or something. But they run up and they hug him. Yeah. But here in Charlotte, it's like I'm loved and he's the one with a venereal disease. I, I can say you you look like Wilcox's twin. Uh, that's all I can tell you right now. You guys look like you were separated at birth, and that's not a good thing. I, that's not really a compliment. Well, we probably shouldn't. Oh, that's, that's a that's a backhanded compliment. <laughs> Well, welcome guys. Please hang out on the short bus. I know you do the short bus show, Mick. So yeah, it's just awesome to, to, to have a, a kindred spirit here in Charlotte. And maybe you guys could wrestle later for the bus. We could have some sort of challenge. <laughs> I'm thinking yeah. oil wrestling. Yes. Wow. Can yeah. I make an announcement? That'd wow. be awesome. Nice. You sure about that, B? I didn't say I was going to challenge. You're something, you're something you're not sharing with us. Right? <laughs> 20 Wilcox broadcasting live from the short bus, Carolina Rebellion. If you're in line, just uh, kick back. You're, you will make it. Doors are open right now. We're going to have a party all day.